the plugin that I am going to introduce to you is called the Doppler Dome. And this is a really, really interesting plugin. It has a very creative interface. And I happened to use this plugin once when I was creating a sound effect. I will start by playing a video of introducing what the Doppler effect is. In Sheldon's words, it's the apparent change in the frequency of a wave caused by relative motion between the source of the wave and the observer. The Doppler effect is perhaps best explained visually. So here's a thing that is emitting waves. It could be a fire truck emitting sound, it could be a star emitting light, it could be a duck creating ripples on a pond. Those are all waves, and they all look something like this. We see the Doppler effect happening when the thing that is emitting waves moves. In the direction it's moving, the wave fronts bunch up, and behind it, they spread out. If our object is moving towards a stationary observer, these bunched up waves are observed at a high frequency. And if the object is moving away from a stationary observer, the waves are observed at a lower frequency. So that is the Doppler effect. So the Doppler dome plugin is simply emulating the Doppler effect by putting a microphone in the middle, which is the location of yourself, the, the location of the listener, and the green dot traveling is the object which emits sound that is traveling around you. The two yellow dots is the begin point and the destination of the green dot. And when you are blending this uh, orange dot is also blending the path of the green dot that is traveling. So one thing that I like this plugin is you don't have to follow the natural effects of a Doppler effect. You can customize this effect by yourself because when something is moving toward or away from you, the pitch will change and at this time you can decide to what extent do you want the pitch to change. And the same thing occurs with the volume and the panning. You can just customize this Doppler effect by yourself. This plugin is really useful when dealing with the sound effect. So first of all, I'm going to use a truck engine sound to simulate the effect of a car passing beside you. So at this time, I'm turning the pitch scale, the volume scale, and the pan scale all to zero. So it's, it's just the engine sound is not changing anything. But according to the Doppler effect, the frequency will be higher when something is approaching to you. So if I turn up the pitch scale, there will be frequency changing. And the volume scale indicates um, the volume will de be decreasing when something is moving away from you. And adding some panning effects. And also you can customize the speed that the car is traveling. This just, yeah, so this is really interesting. You can just customize how fast this object is traveling. I'm going also going to test this plugin on a guitar track. In, uh, in this time, the pitch scale has already been boosted. We can also boost the volume scale and the pan scale. And also, the place curve simply means place another curve after the original one. You can place uh, whatever you want to after the original curves. And you can also drag the orange balls to change the path, make it curvy. And at the same time, if you don't like the curve that you created, you can use the make straight to make it back to the default level, which is a straight line. And if you don't like it, just remove it and close path after you, you think you finished the curve. And a bounce loop simply means the ball will bounce back at the end of the loop. If I don't select it, it will just travel in the loop. And 
you can also adjust the speed to make it go faster or a little bit lower, slower. And something that I think this plugin can be used is in, for example, in a very happy track, you want to create a jumpy effect, and that this this plugin is very creative and will be very helpful to have this kind of feeling. Something is just traveling beside you and creating a very happy effect. And um, something I think the uh, uh, the the plugin developer can do more is at this time I cannot select where I am. I my microphone is only placed in the middle. If I were the developer, I will have another choice to select where I am. For example, if I want the object to be travel completely in the left of me uh, or on the right of me, I can select where I am in this plane. And uh, I hope you like this plugin and thank you for watching.